Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to add text into a video here inside of Premiere Elements. This is Premiere Elements 2025 and adding in text is real easy. Now, first off, you want to have something in behind the text. So I just have a bit of video down here, just a little video clip. And you want your video clip to run as long as you want the text visible on the screen. So just keep that in mind. Now, when I hit play button here, we'll see this. Go ahead, hit play. There we go. There pops in the text. It's going to disappear again here in just a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's now see how this is done. I'm first going to remove this text line, hit the delete key, just delete that video track out of there. Notice that the text comes in on a video track. If you want to learn more about anything else about Premiere Elements, I have a complete video training course for this. I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. Now, there are a couple ways of adding in text. If we go over here to the button right here, this is your titles or text button. And we have templates or edit. Templates allows you to grab existing templates and just add it into your timeline. You can then edit that text. Now, there are some templates here that come with Premiere Elements. That's your My Templates section. Not that many of these, but there's some good basic stuff in here. For instance, some real basic titles. Let's just drag this one in and see what that looks like. There we go. Now, these come with pre-built animations. Play, and there we go. Here's our pre-built animation on that. So pretty easy. And it goes away. Now, to edit these things, just click into the different parts of your text. You can then edit that, change what it says. Change that text, change this text. Notice how this changes what's available over here on the left-hand side. We're in the edit section now. And we have the different parts of the animation right up in here. That's the year, here's bold title. That's the here right here. Here's a top line accent. There's the bottom line accent. We can then edit this any way we want. Change the alignment down here. You can rotate if you want to right here. We can change the font used right down through here. And if the font has different styles, we can apply the different font styles. Change your size. Your size is right there. Notice how the other parts of this little title card are attached to that bit of text. So if I change the text size, those pieces move along with that so they don't get lost. They're actually linked together. We can see the back up here again. If I click on your, you see here it's pinned to bold title, which is this middle section, and is pinned on the left and the top edges in there. A few more things you can do. You can come down here. You can change your alignment, left, center, right alignment top, middle, and bottom alignment. You can go for your fake bold, fake italic, all your standard stuff in here. And you can give it a fill color or a stroke color, background, shadow, and mask with text. So you can do a lot of editing in here to change the look of this. And also, if you want to work on the animation, that's all controlled over here on the right-hand side in the effects controls. So all of the animation is controlled over here. This we have text year. That's the your word up here. Here's bold title. That's this middle section. Click on that. There we go. Here's the word here, right down here. Again, all of these have their own animation controls. You can animate each piece of this separately if you wanted to. Okay, let's go back to our templates again. If you don't see anything you want in here, and again, it's a fairly short list, not that much. You can go over here to where it says Adobe Stock, and there's a lot more available on Adobe Stock. Now, some of these will have to be downloaded from the internet. You can see right here, if I roll over the Word in here, see that cloud? This means that I can download this from the internet down to my computer, and I can then go ahead and use that. Let's just do this one right here. Hit that download button, and that's been downloaded. There it goes, it's that fast. They're very, very quick. So simply download the ones that you want to work with. Now, this doesn't have an up and down scroll. Instead, this has pages down below here, and there are nine pages of these. I'll go pretty quickly through this. There's page two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So a lot of things to choose from in here, and all of these are available. It's just that these will have to be downloaded. And these are highly customizable as well. I'm just going to hide this video track here. Let's take one we just downloaded. I'll drag this down and place it on here. It's going to load that in. And it was missing a font, so it's doing the font substitution. That's fine. Choose OK. And again, click on that text down here. And that's right there. That's our top line here. Let's see if we can make this a bit easier to see. That a bit larger. There we go. So in here, we have global controls, text controls. I can change what the text says right here. Here's my text properties. And then here are the color controls for the text. So you can come in and do a lot of adjustment on these things. Let's just see what this does. I'll hit the play button. We'll watch our animation. Kind of interesting. And if we change the font in here to something else, it would then put all of those effects on our different font choice. Let's find something dramatically different. Maybe this one right here. There we go. See how the effect is still applied even though I use a massively different typeface. 
I'll do a simple one right here. And again, this is going to put all of those changes and use that typeface we just selected. I think this actually works out better with a very, very thick or fat typeface. Back over to templates. Now, different templates will have different controls. It depends upon how the original template was built on how much you can go in there and adjust or change the look of the template. Let's say you didn't want to use any of these templates in here. You didn't want to use the My Templates section, or you don't want to use the Adobe Stock section. You can place your own text in here. Just go back here to these type lines. I'm going to select that, hit the Delete key, and Delete key there. Let's just get those out of the way. I'll bring this lines down a bit, give us some more space on video two. Here we go. And I'll come over just a little bit like that. So I'm about two seconds in right there. Go up here to the menu bar. We have Titles and Shapes. And you can make a new text layer right here. You can do text or vertical text. Everything else runs the same as just that with text. The text is going horizontally and vertical, the text goes vertically. We'll do a horizontal text. And here's our new text line. Now it's over to the side. It came in with the left side centered on the picture over here. We can adjust that on the left hand side or in the edit section and come down here to these alignment buttons. I'll click on center align. And there we go. The text is now center aligned on the page. If you want to make it say something else, just triple click here three times. That gets the whole thing selected. I'll just type in my vacation on this one. Now to change the font, simply select the type that you want to change the font on and choose a different font. Notice I could choose a different font right there or an individual letter. If you want to choose all the letters, just triple click again, select the whole line. And then give yourself a different selection in here from your font collection. Now my font collection will be different from yours. I've added in fonts over the years. So I have quite a few different fonts in here. Just like we saw before, we can come down, we can change the size of our font right here. We can change the style. If it has different styles, this one doesn't. We can do a faux bold, just a little fatter, or a faux italic, all caps, small caps, all your standard adjustments in here. We can change our fill color, our stroke color, background, shadow. Let's just do our fill color. So that's selected and then click into this swatch right here. And I'll choose a nice kind of an orangey yellow. And notice in here, your brightest color is down below bottom right hand corner. This is your full saturation, full brightness. We have less saturation left and right. So there's no saturation over here and dark to light top to bottom. So full saturation and full brightness is your bottom right hand corner. Choose OK. Here we go. We have my vacation. Let's say I want to have an outline on this. I'll just triple click. Select all that, come down here where it says stroke, and let's select that and click that swatch. Come back into my oranges in here, and let's get kind of a medium dark brown right there. Choose OK, and you can see a little thin line around that. Let's select that again, and that's right here. I can type in a different number if I wanted to make that line thicker, or just move your cursor right over that line, click and hold. And you can then actually drag that line like this, make it larger. I'll go just a little bit like right there. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe you take it down to eight instead of nine. And there we go. You also can choose whether that's aligned to outer, inner, or center. There's center, there's inner, and there's outer. It will depend upon your text, which one's the right one to use for the look that you want. I'll stick with outer on this one. So here's our text with an outline around that. If you want, you can come in here and put a background behind this. Again, I'll triple click on that. Let's choose background and I'll choose, I'll just kind of a nice solid blue in here. So that's really going to show up against that. And here's a background. Notice you can see through this a little bit right there, a little bit of tree showing through. And that's right down here with the opacity. So we can adjust that opacity and make it more or less see-through. And adjust your box size right here, a little larger like that. And we also can round the corners. There's a little rounded corner control. So there we go, a little rounded corner on that one. And we can add a shadow to it. See a little shadow in there? Let's bring our opacity up on the shadow so we can get a bit better view on that. Right down here, this arrow on this control points to the direction that the shadow is going. So this is pointing down to the bottom right, and that's where the shadow is going. The control below that adjusts the distance of the shadow. We're going to adjust the size right here, kind of a blur effect on that. You have a lot of controls in there to play with to get these shadows just the way that you want them. Make it a little bit more transparent, just a touch. There we go. Okay, it gets our basic text on the page. Now, if you want to, you can animate this as well. Now, right-hand side, we can change our position and our scale right through here. Our rotation, you can adjust anchor points, anti-flickering, all your standard motion controls are in here. Just do just a little bit of this. Again, same thing, 
over that number, click and hold and drag that. You can then rotate that around like that. I'll just put it to the side. There we go. So you can rotate that. Now, if you want to animate this, simply come in here, toggle on animation, and then place in keyframes for your animation. I won't be going into doing animation in this video. That's a whole different discussion, but it can be done if you want to do it that way. An easier way to do animation is to use one of the effects over here. Click on the transitions button. This gives you transitions between your clips. And you can use this to add in some basic animation to bring your title in or take your title out again. For instance, here's a spin away. Just drag this down onto this layer. Here we go. Hit the play button and that then spins away. I'm going to control Z to back out of that one. So you have lots of options in here. Doors, curtains, cross dissolves, dip to white, dip to dissolve, random invert. So you have lots and lots of options in here. We're putting in some basic animations to make your text just a little bit more interesting as it comes in or leaves. Just come down to one more of these down here. I'll do a stretch over. Let's drag this onto our layer like that. And up here we can see the start and end. Up here we have our options to make adjustments on this particular transition. Let's go back over here and do one more. That's a stretch over. I just want a basic dissolve. Do a cross dissolve right here just to take that out at the end. Okay, I'll come down here. Let's play this. There's our stretch at the beginning, and it will dissolve out at the end. There we go. So very easy, as you can see, to add in simple animations as well, just using those transitions. If you want to find out more about working with text here inside of Premiere Elements 2025 and working with video clips, everything else, I have a great video course for this. I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. Go ahead, check that out. I cover everything in the program. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.